Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter. Yes, all one word like a tribe called Quest. Today we got game four against LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers in Cleveland. We have no NBA playoffs logos on the court. 2K, come on son, what's up with that 2K? No NBA playoffs logos at all? Not in the land? Come on. All right, starting these possessions off is 0-0, playing as best defense as we can. Now, me, I'm always the little tricky guy in the corner, trying to swat at the ball, trying to steal it. But check out Melo with the flashy pass, putting LeBron James in the paint, putting the power on right there. It looked like he lifting weights in the paint on LeBron. Now, I know that these player builds are very skinny, but it's just funny seeing LeBron and Carmelo battle it out, and Carmelo clearly looks like the bigger player. So funny. But check out Melo with a nice mid-range jump shot. Gonna get it to go. Melo's getting hot here. Now, it's 4-4, and I love running plays now. I do. And check out Carmelo Anthony cutting to the basket. Who is LeBron James? But checking things out, it's 6-7. They have the lead. But I'm going to run to my nice little spot. Boriani's going to see the little back door again. Carmelo's not going to take it. Going to pop out and try to go to work on LeBron. So check him out in the post with a step back jump shot. He is cooking LeBron, frying LeBron. Mm -mm -mm. So it's 8-9. And you know how I'm doing. I'm not going to score any points. I'm just chilling. Going to get it down to Melo. And Melo is going to work. So I'm going to let Melo work. I'm going to let him do what he does. Now it's 10 to 16. We are failing on offense because Carmelo is the offense. But hey, I'm just going to let Carmelo get his buckets, let him get hot. So when I sit out, he can do damage. And check out that nice little cut to the basket, taking the ball all the way to the lane. I think he should have dunked on him. I wish I wish he had posterized. It would have just been awesome. But I'm trying to get another little uh, pick and roll here going with Melo. So I'm going to back out and see if I could call him to it. Now, of course, you know, the pick and roll is going to work here because LeBron James decides not to be in the game anymore. And Carmelo is cooking. I think Carmelo has 16 points. That's all I'm saying. But that's the end of the first. And check out what happens right here. Yeah, that's right. Music already. Yeah, look at the score. 47 to 29. We getting baked. But I got an answer for that. Let's get it. Yeah, that's right. All on your back, bro. That's right. I might be one of your jerseys. You just put me on. You wearing me on the court right now. That's what just happened. Check out the replay, man. It's getting ugly out here. Death cam. Let's go. That's how we doing it. I don't even care. But uh, look, we are down bad. Now, I have to use my on the court coach. I have to try to get to the basket. I have to get eight points as fast as I can so that double teams can start coming and I can start using my other teammates. Now, the funny thing is, I sat out most of all of the second quarter. So, you guys can't blame me for this bad deficit. But what you can is you can blame me for the comeback cash money from long range, hash mark, limitless range. The king is in the building. But check out LeBron trying to use these faders like he mellow. How many times are we going to have to tell goddamn LeBron that he ain't got no goddamn post game? He ain't mellow. How many times are you going to have to tell this boy? But check me out. Cut to the basket. Left hand layup. Yes, I got that Russell Westbrook package back on. You know, man, doing my thing. But it's six seconds left on the clock. Remember, I baked Kyrie last game. Well, I'm going to go ahead and bake him here with a nice little shot to go. You know, look, 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 look. Sometimes when I shoot the faders, they go in and sometimes they don't. But right got there and there, that decided to go in for me. So, you know, it makes me look very good in these videos. Now, check out Kyrie trying to force it in the paint. I grab the rebound. We out on a break. I see Shump Shump running. And guess what? I don't care about Shump Shump. I want to run a play. So I get Mike Miller to goddamn lift his hands up real quick, get in the paint, pump fake, and I get the M1. Ooh, yeah, that's right. I've been lifting weights lately. I've been doing my push-ups and my sit-ups. You know what I'm saying? Been beasting in the paint. I'm just saying. But, uh, yeah, things like this always happen. Uh, guys get the rebound, you know, and I got to keep fighting in the paint. It's funny seeing a point guard in the paint majority of the game. You know, I'm always in the paint. Now, Melo just hit the three. Of course, we can acknowledge that. But I want to talk to you all about this paint work I be doing. I'm in the paint literally 80% of these games. I'm not always up top. I'm always in the paint fighting. But you guys see that this play is for me. I'm going to go around the pick. And I'm going to shoot this jump shot. Perfect release. Steph Curry. Oh, my God. Steph Curry jump shot is just so cash. Now, it's 57 to 63. We're still fighting to get back in this game. And I'm not going to lie. It's very hard to get back in this game. But with LeBron James trying to act like he got post game, we're going to come back real easy. Now, I see the double team coming. I'm going to go ahead and pass out of that. My man Shump Shump cut to the basket with the left-hand layup. 
that's what I'm talking about. I love it when my teammates cut to the basket when the double teams come because it seems more realistic. You know, I'm tired of guys just standing around waiting for the three-point shot, and, you know, it goes in or it comes out. Now, check this out. Hold up, hold up. We got to stop the calm. Look at the foolery 2K out here doing. That, that's, that's that foolery. That's that foolery. We can't respect that, 2K. Now, back to the game in 64 to 67. Irving clearly laying to the basket. But you got to be quicker than that. <laughs> you got to be quicker than that because I'm coming with these blocks. I'm fierce. Now, Stoudemire gets to the basket with a left-hand layup. I noticed that me and my teammates are loving driving to the left. You know, maybe that's the answer to this game. Just drive to the left. Now, check out Melo with the... Oh, 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 oh. Look at the... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Mmm, that, that, that was ugly, man. My, my face, you see my face right now. It's scrunched up. But checking out Larkin, trying to get me set up for a nice little play to me. I pop out, shoot the, the deep till. It wasn't a three, you know. Sometimes they do magnetize you to the three-point line, but they gave me the deep two right there. Now, Melo, I don't know what he was doing right there in that situation. He just didn't decide to guard LeBron, but we still came out with the stop and Amon Shumpert misses the alley-oop. And you guys hear the little tune for the uh, the miss? Oh, man, Cleveland is so hilarious. But check out LeBron trying to get hot. Three seconds on the clock, and he misses it. We get the rebound. We're still down three. Now, this is cool because this sets us up for another alley-oop to my man, JR Switch. Do y'all see that? Did y'all see how high he got? Look how high he got. I think his head could have touched the rim. I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure, though. All right, back on defense, ladies and gentlemen. We are down one. I pick Kyrie back up, and the ball swings over to Miller. And guess what Miller does? He pulls a new move right there. Gets the turnover. We out on a break. We only down one point. I see Melo cut to the basket again. LeBron is just too late. Was that a 360 alley you? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. Look at, look at that. Disrespecting LeBron out here in these streets. But it's 91-90. to 90. We finally got the lead. Now, I see the double team coming. Got to hit Melo. Got to let Melo pull that three, and it's cash money. Just call us the cash bros, yo. Just call us the cash bros from now on. Me and Melo, cash bros. Hashtag that. But check it out. You got to respect your man, Mike. He's going to hit the free throw from the line, bring him within one. It's one minute left, and I like to call another play here. Now, of course, I got him automatically set, but I want to see what we got set up, man. I want to see what the coach is thinking. I set the screen. Nothing happens. He wants me to go baseline, pop out up top, and guess what? Your boy is open for three. Cash bro in the building. Cash brothers, what up? Hey, Melo, holla at me. Ha, ha, holla at me. Disrespecting the Cleveland Cavaliers out here. But check it out, man. Check out these defensive prowess right here. I don't know why he was trying to pull the two-pointer, but it's all good. We got the rebound off a nice little volleyball tip. And, oh, yeah, Kyrie ain't going to catch me. You got to be quicker than that. You got you to be quicker than that. <laughs> Ooh, you almost got it. But you got to be quicker. 360 jam, baby. That's what I'm talking about. 3.4 seconds left. This game is over. We are walking out of here with a sweep. Let's get it. And I hit another three. Cash, bros, in a building. Damn, it's hard to get a perfect release on Hall of Fame. How many other people play Hall of Fame and realize how hard it is to really get a perfect release? Like, and I'm dead serious right now. Before we get to the player of the game, I want to know how many of y'all. So leave a comment in the comment section if you can't buy a perfect release. Please.
Yeah, what's up y'all? I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy watching me go crazy in this game. A snap from the second quarter on. I took the whole first quarter off. Just tried to let my man Melo live. But check it out. If you enjoy, make sure you drop a like, leave a comment. Also, if you just started showing up to my channel, start watching my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button, man. I got some fire for you, you hear me? But uh, this is your boy IKC signing out. Make sure you guys show up to my channel tomorrow for Q&A Sunday. Hashtag XIKC. Episode 2 coming soon. Y'all ready? Peace.